The American space program began well behind that of the Soviet Union, but it caught up in a hurry thanks to the vision of a president, the hard work and ingenuity of countless scientists, engineers, and workers, and the courage and charisma of seven astronauts. Here are five trailblazing things about Project Mercury. Number one, it was a civilian space program. The men selected for astronaut group one, better known as the Mercury 7, were all military test pilots, but the project itself was under the authority of NASA, a civilian agency created in 1958. There were many reasons Mercury and all subsequent phases of the American space program were civilian rather than military operations, some logistical, some political, but regardless of the motives, the precedent set was an important one. American astronauts would be explorers, not conquerors. Their missions would be carried out in public and their achievements would belong to all Americans. Number two, it treated the astronauts as more than test subjects. It was initially expected that astronauts wouldn't have to do much more than sit there while their spacecraft were controlled by operators on the ground. And it's true that the Mercury space flights were mostly controlled from the ground. The spacecraft didn't even have onboard computers, for instance. But at the insistence of the astronauts, the spacecraft also included manual control systems, which turned out to be crucial during multiple missions as the astronauts on board found themselves having to fly the spacecraft themselves following unexpected malfunctions. Number three, it used space as a laboratory. Those Mercury capsules were tiny, but there was still room enough for the astronauts to do a bit of science. True, most of the experiments conducted during Mercury flights were extremely practical, designed to learn things necessary for future, more technically challenging missions, but the fact remains that scientific experimentation was established as a crucial part of human space exploration from the very beginning. These astronauts weren't just going up there for the sake of it. They were expanding the boundaries of human knowledge. Number four, it inspired the public to support the space program. Maybe it was the silver spacesuits, still by far my favorite astronaut uniform, by the way. Maybe it was nationalist pride in response to being shown up by the Soviets. Maybe it was the relentlessly marketed, but nonetheless genuine charm and bravery of the Mercury 7 astronauts themselves. Whatever it was, as a result of Project Mercury, human spaceflight was printed in newspaper headlines, covered extensively on TV, and etched indelibly into the imaginations of millions of Americans, including children who grew up idolizing astronauts and dreaming of following in their footsteps. In a way, the entire country followed in the footsteps of the Mercury 7. And the most important trail blazed by Project Mercury was the one we finally reached the end of in July 1969. Number five, it pointed the way to the moon. Before there could be a Neil Armstrong or a Buzz Aldrin, there had to be an Alan Shepard. A Gus Grissom, John Glenn, Scott Carpenter, Wally Schirra, Gordon Cooper, and Deke Slayton, who was the only of the original seven not to actually fly during Project Mercury, although he did eventually make it into space as part of the Apollo Soyuz project in 1975. Anyway, it was after Shepard's flight, the first of Project Mercury, that President Kennedy set his goal of reaching the moon before the end of the decade. Nearly 10 years later, in February 1971, as commander of Apollo 14, Alan Shepard became the only member of the Mercury 7 to walk on the moon. His first words after stepping on the lunar surface were, and it's been a long way, but we're here. Shepard became the fifth person to walk on the moon, but in a very real sense, there would have been no first person to walk on the moon had it not been for Shepard and everyone else involved in Project Mercury leading the way there. The hardest part is picking only five. Catch you next time. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.